<laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Doesn't that look amazing? Mm. What if we told you tonight you can make your family a full, delicious meal with only one dish to wash? Sold, I Sold. say. Oven to Table is a new, fresh cookbook that includes more than 100 simple recipes. With you can make them with one pot, one pan. And the author is here right now, Jan Scott. Thank Bless you, you very Jan much. Scott. We want to thank, thank, thank you. you. Dishwashers, me. thank you. Everybody yes. does. Thank you so much. So today we brought you what we're calling winter comfort foods. We have a one pot, beefy, cheesy macaroni, a side dish of like a cheesy garlic bread and a fudgy raspberry swirl brownie. So you cover it all? Yes, absolutely. Appetizers, entrees, yeah, dessert. There's seven chapters in the book. We go right from breakfast and brunch all the way through to the end of the day with dessert, sauces, drinks, side dishes, Brilliant. salads. Where did it come from? Where did the idea come from to do this? I think it came mostly from convenience of needing to feed my brood of boys easily, mm -hmm. um, quickly, in a tasty way with not a lot of mess. Mm -hmm. and, and warm comfort food. Yeah, yeah, which is the best for this time of year. Absolutely. So what, what do we uh, have going on here? So today we have a one-pot beefaroni. So we're all familiar sort of with beefaroni from our childhood. This is nothing more than carrots, onions, and celery with some ground beef. We add a little bit of spices to the pot to amp up the flavor. And you could use anything. If you don't want beef, you can use turkey. Absolutely. You can use turkey, chicken. Vegetarian. You could use your, you know, uh, meat alternative, whatever your choice is. Okay. Then we like to add a little bit of wine, a little bit of stock. Now here's the interesting some thing. Some tomatoes. Just like that. Just like that. And then you're going to dump your macaroni this right into the pot. See that part I was shocked by. Yeah. So the pasta is going to cook right in the liquid. You're going to bring it to a boil, turn the heat down a little bit, leave it for about 11 minutes. And when it's just a little bit al dente, you're going to cover it with mozzarella cheese, throw it in the oven, and this is what you're left with. Brilliant. And, and total time? For all uh, that? 13 minutes here, about 10 in the oven. So 20, less than a half an hour. Less than a half an hour. So are you keeping the lid on when it's on that low simmer? No, you're not. You're going to take the lid off. Okay. Oh, sorry, here. But in the oven, <laughs> Roger, it's a little <laughs> messy. Thanks, Mom. In the oven, lid on. No, the, oven, oh. the lid is not on the pot, so you're going to leave the lid off, and then you're going to sprinkle it with the cheese and put it in the oven without the lid as well. To brown. Thank yeah. you. Now, how do we make this in a pot or pan? So this, I'm trying to try this here. <laughs> sorry. This, you can just, um, you put it on mm. a sheet pan. You cross. Oh. I'm going to go have a nap now. This is good winter food. <laughs> kind of cross hatch here like we've done this pattern. Okay. You're going to fill the little crevices with your grated cheese. And then we make a mix of like an herby oil that we sort of drizzle over top, cover it with aluminum foil, bake it for 15 minutes, remove the foil, let it bake for an additional 10 to make the cheese melty. Look at this, guys. It's And it, you're it's left with a pull apart bread. And it's so easy for your family to just dig in and Absolutely. grab at it. We had it last night for dinner. You just put it in the center of the table. Everyone pulls out their pieces. Brilliant. And it's done. And it's warm. And the dessert, how do you make this in one simple step? Because it looks complex. No, not at all. This is just you're using a mixing bowl. You're putting together your flour, eggs, butter, sugar, baking powder. Then you're going to add in a little bit of chocolate chips. Yeah. You're going to take some raspberry jam and sort of swirl it over the top <laughs> and bake it in the oven in a traditional baking pan. Thank you so Thank much. You. This looks beautiful. We will eat to that. And mm. where do you come up? I know you know the, you wanted to speed things up, oh but gosh, the idea is trial and error when you get to them. How are you? Uh, how do you come up with some of the recipes? Absolutely. I mean, it, definitely a lot of <laughs> trial oh. and a lot of error. Mm. But um, I mean, I just sort of took inspiration from my everyday cooking at home and tried to think about how could I simplify it? How could I make it easier? Um, you know, I, I first started the book with the idea of busy moms in mind, but mm -hmm. then I quickly realized I have a son in university, so one-pot meals are great for college kids. You know, my mom is a single working woman. A one-pot meal is great for her. Maybe an empty nester who's spent years and years, yeah. you know, cooking for a family wants to simplify a little. Or, oh, smart. you know, a young newlywed couple. Well done. Who's, uh, you know, trying to build their their careers and wants to eat well but doesn't have a lot of time to spend in the you kitchen. You nailed it. It's called Oven to Table, friends. Make sure you pick it up. Breakfasttelevision.ca. It's in all major bookstores and online. For more info, thank you. We'll be back with more BT right after this. Definitely more to That's delicious.